this review is of an older older figure, but kind of newer. This is Generation Deluxe Class Goldfire. Now, this is a repaint slash remold of Bum uh, Bumblebee. The only difference is Goldfire, what made Goldfire Goldfire was Bumblebee was kind of, I guess you could say dead. He was very hurt in G1. And got reformatted, remade into Goldfire. And it's pretty nice. He's pretty nice looking. I got him just because it's Goldfire. I don't have a Goldfire. And I always wanted this mold because it looks like a nice mold. That's really it. Here's the box where he would be. The comic. The stats. Goldfire. And it's a pretty big bio if you want to read it. Pause it. So that's it for the box. Now let's talk about. And he, of course, comes with a comic book, which is Goldfire. Which, this is all right. You got it. It, it kind of tells you about Bumblebee and how badly hurt he was, and who rescued him, and how he got rescued. You got you see some Dinobots in there. Like you see, all the Autobots are kind of hurt. And at the end, you see Goldfire right there. So he is in here. But that's pretty cool. So that's really it for that. That's to the side. Now let's talk about the figure. Now, does roll pretty well. It does, drags a little bit, but not much. Do we got these weapons that peg in to the back. Which will look good more in robot mode. Size comparison wise, here he is. With Transformers Prime Bumblebee, with back wheel to back wheel, just to show you a size comparison. So this looks more like a car to me. This is a cartoon, but whatever. And here he is. Here he is compared to Armada Starscream. Just cause, why not? So yeah. So that's it for car wise. Now let's get to transformation. He's a pretty simple transformation. You wanna, what you wanna do first is you wanna unpeg, unpeg the doors. So we, you wanna grab back here, wiggle the doors out. It's gonna take. It takes a lot of unpegging. Ooh, see, they come out. Unpeg them. Now, that will release the feet. What I want to do is come back here, bring the bumpers down, and rotate them. Same thing on this side, rotate. Come under here, as you see, there's the foot. Pick it up, bring it, and bring it down. So unpeg it, bring it down. And there you go, there's his feet. Boom. Now, we we'll to lift up. You want to now unpeg the hood, bring it out, and then you just want to slide. As you slide this down, his head will reveal. Lift this up, accordion this in, same thing, accordion. And now for Bone you want to. Take this hood section, pick it up, and lay it on his back. And there you go. There's really a... And then just good a good little ones click just to make sure. And there is Goldfire in robot mode. Now, a lot of people had problems with the original Bumblebee. Mine, arms are tight. Everything's pretty tight in it. His chest fits in nice. So it's pretty good. It's not a bad figure. Size comparison, here he is compared to Asia Extinction Bumblebee. Let's just show you his size. And compared to Generations Orion Pax. Just show you that size too. It's a pretty cool size. Now for articulation, arms do fully 360. You go up and down, bend the elbow, rotate at the elbow, 
head to 360. Legs go up, back, in and out. Rotate at the thigh. Good, almost more than 90 degrees of knee articulation. And foot, it's on a ball joint. It's going to go up, down, in and out. It can rotate. It does not have ankle pivot, though. And then weights. The weights has movement as well. So it's a pretty poseable figure for a little guy. And I mean, look at that head. Pretty nice. No light piping, though. Painted eyes. Pretty cool. Nice eyeball logo. Now, for the weapons. He can hold them. His weapons, you can hold them individually. Or, you can, if you lift up these. There's pegs and pegs. Just line them up. And he called them as one weapon. Which, I mean, I don't display my figures with their weapons too much. But, I mean, this is pretty cool if you want, if you want him to have his weapons so you don't lose it. Pretty cool way to pose him. And he, he does hold it up. It makes If you hold him all the way up, his arm droops a little bit. But if you bend his elbow, he's pretty good. That has been it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Rate. And subscribe if you like it. And I hope you guys keep coming back. Peace.